Hey everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys how to make this super cute paper suitcase. So it is totally functional. It opens and you can store some uh, goodies in here um, or you can send it off as a little happy mail piece to a pen pal or you can turn it into a mini album. Um, there's just so many different um, opportunities that you can make with this. So um, these little sleeves tuck in here to keep it closed and then you can just open it like this and then you have all that room inside to hold all different kinds of fun stuff and I just think that this project is absolutely adorable. I am in love with it. I know that there are many tutorials on YouTube here already and I also know that there are cut files for um, this kind of design but the one I'm showing you guys how to make today is one I came up with on my own so if you don't have a cut file or anything like that you can still make this super cute project so um, if you're curious the collection I used for this one is Bloom by Simple Stories just wanted to throw that out there in case anyone wanted to know because I think it's super duper cute <laughs> alright so um, I'm going to go over all the paper that we're going to need for this project I think it's helpful to gather all of the paper that you're going to need at once so that way once you start crafting it goes by super fast so to make the box for your suitcase you're going to need a piece of paper that measures eight and a quarter inch by eleven and three quarters inch as always I will have all of the measurements listed down below in the description box to make this easier for you guys and this is optional but if you want to add more decoration to your box um, you can cut out some extra pieces of paper to mat each little section so um, the box here was a blue floral paper and then I just cut um, some like word paper down to size and added it to each side of my box and added some stitching to that I just think that it looks more textured and decorated and gives it a fun look so that's totally optional you can definitely just skip that step and just make the box um, if you do want to add the pieces to mat your box I will go over those measurements now otherwise you can just skip ahead a little bit so for the front and back piece you're going to need a piece that measures let me get my ruler so I can be accurate four and three quarters by three inches and you will need two of those for the top and the bottom you will need a piece that measures four and three quarters by one and a half and for the sides you will need a piece that measures three by one and a half so two of those and then um, that is all the matting pieces and then for these little straps to keep your suitcase closed you will need two pieces that measure 12 inches by um, a half an inch and for the handle you will need a piece that measures six inches by three quarters of an inch for this project you will also need some um, one inch circles and that is what is going to um, go on our corners now you can use any type of paper you want you can use pattern paper for this one I just use some plain black cardstock and for the one I'm making today I think I want to use some glitter gold paper I think that will be a really nice accent on this so um, just make sure they measure at least one inch you could go a little bit bigger than that um, and also they don't have to be circles if you have like a one inch um, scalloped circle punch that would be super cute unfortunately I only have a one and a half inch and that was just too big so I'm just sticking with the one inch circles for now 
And also you're going to need some stuff to decorate the front. And you're also going to need some little tabs here that you can slide the um, straps into to keep it closed. I'm just going to be using some of that gold paper. Just cut some little pieces from that. Um, and yeah, so with all of that said, we are going to dive into making the box first and then we will assemble it all together. All right guys, so to make the box, we are going to need our scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can just mark with a ruler and pencil and fold up on those lines. But I'm going to be using my We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard here. And um, so with your paper that measures eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarter inch, you want to score at one and five eighths of an inch on all four sides. So that's the first step. So score at one and five eighths. And then rotate your paper and continue that on all of the sides. All right guys, and once you have done that, with your paper now horizontal on your scoreboard, we're going to add two more score lines and those are going to be at five inches. And six and three quarters inch. So that is all the scoring we have to do for this project. So the next step is to do some cutting. Um, you will see that you have three little squares on each side of your paper. And what we want to do is just turn those squares into little wedges that we are going to use as tabs to adhere the box together. So I'm just going to take my scissors and with your paper horizontal, you just want to cut up on all of those score lines that make the little squares. So after you do that, you would have a little square, a rectangle, square, rectangle, square. And now we're going to flip our paper and do the same thing on the other long side. it's time to turn them into little wedges. I'm just going to get some bigger scissors because I was using these little ones which was a little bit difficult to cut with. But to turn each little square into a wedge, all you want to do is cut from the, um, the outside of that square to this score line here and you just want to cut at a little diagonal so you're just cutting off a little bit of paper. And you want to do that on both sides so that you'd have something that looks like this. And you want to repeat that on all of your little squares. So after you do all of your cutting, you should have something that looks like this. And the next step is to fold up on all of our score lines. And you can use your scoring tool or a bone folder to get a nice clean crease. Just be gentle so that your paper doesn't tear. All right, so after you have folded up on all of your score lines, the next step is to um, just adhere the box together. Now I'm going to be using some quarter inch double-sided tape. If you are not using double-sided tape and you're using wet glue or hot glue to do this, then I would recommend um, just doing adding the adhesive one at a time to each tab and adhering it down. Since I'm going to be using some double-sided tape, I'm just going to apply it to all of my tabs all at once. So the first thing you want to do is fold all of your tabs inward because we are going to be applying the adhesive to the outside of the tab. Um, so just fold them all inward. And then you will be applying your adhesive to this side of all of them. 
Okay, so now that I have all of my adhesive down on my tabs, the next step is to adhere the two outside little boxes first. So I'm just going to start on either side. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to remove the backing of my tape. And then to turn this into a little box, you just want to take your tab and you're going to bring it up to this little rectangle here. Line up as nicely as you can to create a very fine corner. And then you're just going to secure that down. And then you're going to do the same for the other side. So just meet this tab up to the inside of that rectangle and make a nice corner. And then you should have something that looks like this. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did on this side, on this side. And now that I have these two done, I'm just going to go over those little tabs to make sure that they are nice and adhered because we don't want our suitcase coming apart once we get it all decorated. So now to turn this into a box, you basically want to choose either side, it doesn't matter, to be the top and the bottom. So I just like to turn it this way and work like that. And you want to remove the, uh, the backing of your tape or apply your adhesive down. And then I'm just going to take the little tab and I'm going to pull it this way so that this will become the lid of our box. And I'm just going to secure the tab down the same way I did the rest of them. So I'm just going to meet it up with this rectangle, keep it as even as I can, and then secure it down, and then repeat that on the final tab over here. And then once again, use my little bone folder to make sure that it's nice and stuck together. So now that you have that, you will be able to just pull your lid down over the other part of your box. And now the base of our suitcase is done. So now that we have our base of the suitcase done, it's time to move on to the next step. So if you are going to mat your box, um, like this one where you just add that extra piece of paper, then now is the time to do so. So off camera, before I started filming, I added some stitching to my pieces already. Um, I have started adding stitching to all of my projects and it is so addicting, you guys. Um, I just have to do it to every single project now. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I did that um, off camera earlier. One quick little thing to mention is that you want the part of your box that opens to be at the top. That is a part that's going to have the handle on it. So with that said, now I'm just going to adhere all of my little pieces into place. So I have the bottom and the top here, the front and back and the two sides and I'm just going to adhere all of that down. All right guys, so now that I have completely matted my little um, suitcase base here, the next step is to add the little corners to the box. So to do this, um, this is where those one inch circle punches come in handy. So you're going to punch out a one inch circle and all you want to do is stick it into your scoreboard up against the edge here and you're going to score it at half an inch and then you're going to rotate it 90 degrees and score at half an inch again so that when you look at the back you have an X on it and you have four little wedges inside of there. And you just want to do that for all of your little circles. I'm not actually sure how many circles you need. I didn't count when I put this one together so I guess we will find out now um, how many we will need but I have um, seven here I think to work with 
So the first ones we are going to adhere on are going to be the ones on the front and all of those need to have three wedges in them. So to do that, you just take your little circle after you have scored it and you just cut one of those little wedges out by cutting along the score lines. After you have done that, you can just fold up on them and then you will see you have a little corner piece that looks like this. Hopefully <laughs> uh, my camera is picking that up nicely. So once you have that, just make three more of them. All right, so now that we have our four front corners made, we're going to be making these top two back corners. So to do that, you just wanna take one of your little circles and you're going to cut it in half along that middle score line and then just fold up on it and that will give you two, and that is all we need of those. And all of the other little corners will just be little one-piece wedges. So um, you already have a few of those from making your front pieces, and you might have to cut a little bit more, so I will do that as I need to. But for now, we are going to start gluing them on. So again, it's important to remember that the opening of your box is going to be at the top of the suitcase. Again, that's where the strap is going to go. So we're going to start with those two corners. So to put these on, I like to put the center wedge right in the front and then glue the other two pieces down after I have glued down that piece. So I like to use hot glue for this just because it dries quickly um, and there's no fuss about it. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun, add some glue to the center wedge, secure it down, and then I will glue down the two sides after that. So just line it up nice and even as you secure it down. Let that glue dry and then just secure down the other two sides. And then you will get something that looks like this. This one was a little bit uneven, so I'm going to rip it up and redo it. <laughs> Um, all right, so that is your first little corner piece and now it's time to do the other three. Alright guys, so when you get to the bottom ones here, you might notice that this side here goes in at a slant. So just glue the top um, circle part of the wedge here down and not right up against there because we don't want to risk gluing down our side because then the box won't open. So just keep that in mind. Alright guys, so now that we have our four front corner pieces down, we are going to move on to the back, which is just this piece right here. So you can go ahead and leave your box open for that. And you're just going to take your two half pieces, which have the two little wedges, and you're just going to glue that down. like so, so that the circle parts are on the inside. All 
All right, and after that, we are just going to take the one wedge pieces and we are going to glue them in the rest of the corners. So any corner that doesn't have a little wedge, just go ahead and glue a single wedge into place. All right, guys, so now that I have added all of my little corner pieces to my little suitcase base, it's time to move on to adding the straps to keep it closed. Um, when you are adding your little uh, corner wedges, be sure to get the bottom. Don't forget about those. Um, all right, so now on to the next step. We're going to be adding our little straps. So again, my straps measure 12 inches by half an inch. And to put these on, we are first going to do a test wrap of sorts. So I'm going to leave about half an inch or so of space up at the top here. And then as I wrap my little piece around the box at each little corner, I'm going to pinch the paper so that it will create a little crease and I know that that will be where a fold goes. So this is kind of just giving us our little template to work with. So I'm just going to start folding and there's a corner so I'm going to pinch the paper and continue wrapping around, pinch the paper again and just keep doing that all the way around the box until you get back to the start. And now we have our little strap to work with and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So again, I'm going to leave, I'm going to use this one as a template so that they're even. So about right there. And I'm going to start wrapping and I'm going to pinch on every corner or edge, I guess you could say, that the paper comes across. And don't pinch too hard because you don't want to <laughs> pinch your suitcase and leave a dent in it. So now that I have that done, it's time to add our adhesive and glue these down. So it's important to note that this strap here, so these two little um, top folds of your strap, you're not going to be applying any adhesive to because those need to be able to go back so that you can open your box. So I'm just going to apply some double-sided tape to the last three little sections here. All right, so now it's time to adhere these down. So remember, there's no adhesive on these top two um, little sections. So I'm just going to remove the double-sided tape here. Okay, guys, so now I just like to guesstimate where to place these. It's about an inch or so from the outside of the box. Um, when I did guesstimate on this one, it was a little bit uneven, but it still works, still functional, and still cute. So if you do want it to be super precise, you can definitely mark this out with a ruler. I'm just going to guesstimate again and risk it. Um, so you're going to take that first longer side with the adhesive, and you're going to line up the corner with the, uh, the little fold corner you made with the bottom of your box and make sure the top of your box that opens is at the top again um, so we don't uh, seal it closed. And I'm just going to guesstimate that that's about an inch. And then I'm going to secure that tape down and then just continue wrapping my strap around the box now. All right, and then when you get to here, this will have no adhesive 
and that can just sit there for now. So now I'm going to do the other side. All right, so now that that is done, it is time to add some little buckles. So to do that, I'm just going to use some gold glitter paper so that it kind of complements our little gold corners here. All right, so I'm just going to take this strip of gold glitter paper I have and cut maybe an inch or so um, just to create a little buckle there. And I'm going to cut two of those. And then I'm going to glue those into place using some hot glue. Before you glue it down, just make sure you are putting it at a spot that is up high enough for your little straps to be able to go through it. So I'm going to get my hot glue gun, add a teeny bit of glue to either side here, and then just secure it down. All right, so now we should be able to just slide our straps into our little buckles here. And now all that's left to do is add our handle and if you want to add some decoration to the suitcase itself. All right guys, so to add the handle, you just want to take your piece of paper that measures three quarters of an inch by six inches. And last time when I made this one, I just hot glued the two ends. Um, but this time I think I'm going to add a score mark so that it's just nice and um, flush against the box here. So I think I'm going to score maybe at three quarters of an inch or so on both sides here. And then I'm just going to fold down on those. All right, so now I can just hot glue those two little squares into place and it will be a cleaner handle because this one kind of bends and gets a little bit curvy um, and this one will be more flush. So to secure that down, I'm just going to hot glue it into place. Be sure not to glue it over your straps. Um, you can glue it over the buckles, that will be fine. You just don't want to hot glue it to your straps. So this is pretty much the base done. Now it's just time to decorate. To decorate the little handle here, I like to take some little um, gems. I'm using these gold ones. And I'm just going to pop that right on so that it looks like a little screw or something holding the handle into place. And already it looks so much cuter. <laughs> so the last step is to decorate the rest of your box if you so want to, totally up to you. All right guys, so here is the final project. I think it is absolutely adorable. I might be biased because Bloom is one of my favorite paper collections, but I think it turned out so stinking cute. Um, like I said, this project would be perfect to use as a gift box or as a way to send some happy mail to a pen pal. Um, I'm probably just going to display these in my craft room because I love them so much. Um, but yeah, just a little tip, when you are decorating the center of your box here, just be mindful not to glue down these straps. Um, so just add glue to like the center here and then just kind of stick stuff to it. But um, I will show you guys that it opens perfectly and it's ready for some goodies. 
So um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more crafty videos like this. Also, if you have any questions or comments or anything about how I made this, feel free to leave those down below as well and I will get back to you. So, um, oh, also, if you do decide to make this project, I would love to see. So if you have an Instagram, feel free to tag me on there. My um, link is always down below in the description box. It's at Bambi's Mail. And yeah, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.